Well, parents say it's a danger for their children, and fed up residents call it a major eyesore. Now, well, now DeKalb County finally planning to tear down blighted buildings that had bothered neighbors for years. Well, Fox News' Portia Bruner joins us now live from the site of tomorrow morning's demolition. And Portia, nearby residents say they've been asking for this to happen for a long time now. Yeah, and it's a process that takes a long time, right? Because you can't just take a property from an owner and tear it down. It's a long legal process, but I can tell you this sign, a welcome sign to many who live here in Waverly Place. This burned and dilapidated shell of an apartment building is no playground for a child. Sadly, children who live in the Waverly Place apartments wander and play here all the time. Samia Abdullah is an advocate for immigrants who pay an average of $600 to $700 a month to live in this community off Indian Creek Way and Northern Avenue. Things that just sit in the community with no purpose and it attracts crime. Mm -hmm. And you have children playing hide and seek behind those buildings in unsafe structure. So really this blight creates crime for the community and it creates just an eyesore. Mohammed Najib and Abdullah both live near Waverly Place and they were grateful to hear DeKalb County officials have finally completed the legal steps necessary to seize the property and have it torn down. Demolition is set for Friday morning. It's been here for at least five years. And looking like this, looking like this, uh, before the second time got burned, we had some homeless people who were living in here, and it was just like trash, really. This property is one of 32,000 inspected last year by DeKalb County code enforcement officers. In 2017, the county directed $3.8 million to fight blight. More than 3,700 court summons were issued. More than 252,000 in fines were collected and 19 single family homes were demolished. And a magistrate court ordinance reform now allows the county to take action against property owners who don't restore buildings to code standards within a court ordered time. The community is really trusting the process mm -hmm. that this blight is not no longer welcomed. CEO Michael Thurman here in DeKalb County says the goal is to get more of these signs, the intent to demolish, more of these signs up in front of buildings that have been eyesores for extended periods of time.